So far we have gone through sending and logging emails, but there are a lot more details that go into managing relationships with each individual customer. This is where the activities feature comes in. In this section, we will discuss custom activity types, how activities are moved from any board to the activities board, and seeking activities with your calendar. Now, back to our product flow diagram one more time. You can see here that the activities board comes into play with every other board that we have within the CRM. Now, it pulls the activities from each, each of the boards, starting with the leads board. While the accounts, contacts, and deals board are interconnected and share all the same information, the activities board is comprised of items created from your team's individual sales activities. Now, this flow enables you to organize and report on your activities in one place so that you can drill down on the individual steps that make up the sales cycle. Now, let's jump back to my CRM account and see how this works. Okay, great. Now, back to my emails and activities. Let's open up our new contact. You are probably familiar with the default activity types. You can add a meeting, write up a call summary, and write a note. Now, you also have the option to add a custom activity. By selecting call summary or meeting, the, co the console will open and I can log any important information from this call or schedule a meeting with the contact directly from here. Now you also have the option to create other types of custom notes at meetings such as, let's say, a dinner meeting. And then I can specify the exact time. Perfect. Great, now once an activity is created within the emails and activities app of any board, an activity will then be created in the activities board and the creator is automatically assigned. Now let's go see how this works. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my activities board. Now this new activity that I just created appeared right over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and walk through the specific recipe that allows this to happen. Now here we have when an activity is created in emails and activities, create an item in this board and connect it to the source item. Now if I click on the item, I can see here exactly how the values are being pulled in from emails and activities. Now we looked at an item mapping example from earlier when moving an item from our leads to our contacts board. But this item mapping is a bit different as it pulls in the values from emails and activities such as the date and time, the activity type, as well as the creator of the activity and turns them into column values rather than transferring column values as we went over earlier. And we can actually further customize this um, by adding you know, some additional fields or if you want to change anything directly from here. For example, with the item update, I can actually include the activity content here as well. I also wanted to mention that though we created an item from an activity on the contacts board, this recipe which exists in the activities board will pull in any activity created from all boards. It will pull the activities in from any board that is using the emails and activities, activities app to create activities true to the language of the recipe. Whenever an activity is created, an item will be created in activities and connected to the source item from any board. Now if we go ahead and check the connect boards column item, you can actually see the boards connected to this specific column. Now I want to show you how this comes into play when creating activities from different boards. So heading back to my accounts board, let's see what this looks like if I choose to set up a meeting or a call from an account. Let's go ahead here, add activity, and I can just add a call summary. Now, while meetings and call summaries and custom activities will create items in the activities board, emails and notes will not. Compared to meetings and calls, summaries and notes are not considered actionable and they will not, be, they will not create individual items. But that said, if you do want to write notes on the, on the customer and have them create items within your activities board, feel free to add a custom activity and just call it notes, and this can serve as your notes activity.
Perfect. Now here we just created a new note and this will be created within our activities board. Great. Now most of us utilize a digital calendar to keep track of our meetings and responsibilities throughout the day. With the native Google Calendar and Outlook Calendar integrations, we can ensure that every activity, whether it is a scheduled phone call or meeting, is added to our personal schedules. By selecting Integrate, for some of you this will be under Workflows, we can open up the Integration Store and add a calendar integration to your workflow. So let's go ahead and pull this up. I'm just going to use Google Calendar, but the Outlook Calendar integration is almost identical. When an item is created or updated, I'll just go ahead and connect my account. We want to create an event in Google Calendar. Now I'm going to go ahead and choose the start time and end time. And the title will be, we can call it the activity type, but really we can just use the name of the item. Perfect. And add that to my board. Now, typically when adding events with a specific time duration, you will need the time added to the date column. I can show you this from the settings. We'll just select customize date column and you would need to have always keep the add time option on and specify the specific time. So you would choose from here and you would select it from the bottom. But with this configuration, the specific date and the start and end time is automatically populated from emails and activities, which perfectly sets you up for to set up the calendar integration. Now, anytime a new item will be created, it will be it will create an event within the default calendar of your personal account. And if you want to view all of your team's activities in a calendar layout, you can go ahead and add a calendar view to the activities board. Perfect. And feel free to adjust the settings to visualize this information as you would like. Now, this brings us to our final section on reporting. In this section, we will discuss the built-in sales dashboard, as well as the individual widgets that make up the dashboard. Now, most of these widgets we went over uh, in the basic demo, so I'm just going to highlight a few um, additional widgets that you could add to your boards. Now, just as a review, we have our forecasted revenue, our average value of one deals, and actual revenue. Now, if we wanna go ahead and add, let's say, the activities board to our sales dashboard, we are more than welcome to do so. You can just go ahead and click the connected board and add activities directly from here. You can, of course, add any other board if you want to report uh, in data directly from these boards, but I will just pull in the activities board for now so I can show you another option that we have. Now, let's go ahead and add the workload widget. Great. Now using the workload widget allows me to see all of the activities that each and every salesperson is assigned to so that I can keep track and make sure that they are on board to close these deals and that they are not uh, over capacity or underworking. Um, so let's first go ahead and let's make sure that we have the right boards pulled in. I only want to see the activities board. Great. For the resource type, you want to choose the person. And you can assign effort and capacity, let's say, by the number of items that they're assigned to or the effort. And of course, you can set the max amount of items that they should be assigned to each week. And it will turn red if they, over, if they go over their capacity. Perfect. Now, while I'm here, I do want to go over the funnel chart widget, which is unique to the CRM. Now, this powerful reporting tool enables us to report on the conversion percentage of one deals and shows if there is a stage which poses a challenge for us when it comes to closing deals with customers. It does this by following the flow of our deal stages from the moment they are created until they are either won or lost. As you can see from the conversion to one metric on the far right, the widget gives us the percentage of deals that transition from new all the way to one. Now you can drill down on each of these widgets by filtering by salesperson or a time frame. 
Now, by default, the funnel will count the number of items at each stage. However, you can go ahead and customize this. Just click on the wheel if you want to see different data. So for example, here, if you want to see the close probability versus the actual conversion to one or the actual deal value, you can go ahead and make this adjustment here. You can also choose to change the colors, color by stage, or just to see the difference with the final stage. Now, I also want to mention here that lost deals are intentionally excluded from the funnel widget. Uh, if you want to see similar data about lost deals, you can actually add an additional funnel chart and just uncheck the box one, meaning that only the lost deals will be displayed. I'm not going to go over how this um, will look like, but all you would need to do really is to duplicate this widget, or you can add it directly from here. Now this concludes our sales CRM deep dive webinar. Make sure to check out our knowledge base uh, or reach out to support if any questions come up. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you our help center. Um, this has all of the CRM oriented resources such as getting started with Monday sales CRM, importing and exporting with Excel, connecting your email and automating your workflow. And of course you can just search CRM and find answers quickly directly from here. Um, you also have a link to our knowledge base, community, academy, um, and if you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to us um, by clicking on the move button in the bottom right corner. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day.